Hey guys, Sin here. I'm back at with another video, another guide video for Johnny this time around. I had someone on uh, my one of my one of, on my other build guide video for uh, Julie, I believe, asked for a guide video on uh, Johnny. Wanted to build for him, so I decided to play him for a few days, test out some things, uh, and here I am. Got a video ready. I've got a per got some perks leveled up. I didn't get completely fully leveled up. I unfortunately had to work, so I could only test. I can only I only had so much time to test some things. Um, this, though, currently, I think, is uh, what I enjoy the most. Um, I definitely think you can switch out a perk for sure. Um, but let's let me go through the let me go through what I'm normally run and then what you can switch out. Um, so right now we're running Blood Runner, we're running Scout, and we're running Easily Tuckered Out. These are our three. These are the three perks we're running currently. I gl I definitely think um, you can switch Blood Runner out. You could definitely switch Blood Runner out for Serrated. I don't think Serrated is um, a bad switch out, um, especially if you need, if you want that extra tick damage on them. That every second they're gonna take some damage. They're taking one HP of damage for over that course of time. And once it's level three, it's for five seconds. So it's not bad. It's definitely. I've definitely seen people bleed out for um, bleed out from it from before. So you get those executes when they're on the ground incapacitated. So there's definitely some. Key Key, key moments of using it um so it's definitely up to you um the reason why i'm running this build here is one i think run, being able to run faster is movement speed movement speed increases and is always good so having that 15 percent movement speed that's only at level 10 it's only um, at level 2 right now so i'm actually doing 20 percent less damage instead of just 10 but even with just the 10 percent movement speed it's very hard for victims to get away from me um and then combine that with easily tuckered out we have only 35 too right now. 35% less stamina on my attacks, and it's not even 50% right now. So it could be even. It could be way better now. I get a ton. I can get a tons of swings in, and at least how Johnny plays, and ha he's the only person ever. Whenever I play victim, if he's on top of you and he he gets some good looks in, he can literally combo like three four hits on you before you either either you get away or you just die from those combo hits. And so I pretty much built kind of made a build around that. You you don't have to really worry about stamina so it's, I pretty much tried to get anything that would lower your stamina. You're chasing someone down, this is gonna help you out. And then when you're on top of them, you're gonna use way less stamina when you attack, so you can get all those swings in without having to worry about running out of stamina, which lets you get those kills. I've had a lot of fun so far with it. I've been sitting on top of people, cutting them down left and right, no problem at all. It's been real. It's been a real blast. I get on top of someone and they're trying to run away from me and I'm hitting them a good four or five times before the if and not even missing. You definitely sometimes need to time your strikes. I've had some moments where I'm like spam clicking to just get those swings in and sometimes you'll miss that one. And that one swing you miss sometimes can let them get away for a bit. But I mean you also that's what your that's where your ability comes in if you really need to you track them down too and that helps a bunch too. I've had a, had a lot of fun using those as well. Uh, though I'm not a major, I don't, I'm not, I don't think his, I don't think his skill is incredible, don't get me wrong, it's, it's nice, you can track people down, it, it's huge, um, I, me personally though, it's just not like a major, like, thing, like, that I really, really care for, I mean, like, for the cook example, the cook, he hears you, and it marks, like, level three, it marks, it marks him for everyone, same thing with hitchhiker, they hit a trap, there's a level three skill that marks him for everyone, it, and then, unfortunately for Hitch, for Johnny here, all all he can do is he, he can he can either analyze clues faster, or he can this one lets you um the, see the trail for longer, or you have one that shows uh colder, pretty much colder hot if how how recently they were there, stuff like that. So I mean, this is probably what it, is the one I'd probably run, but it's not like a game changer to me. Um. So, but I think the perks are more than, isn't the, the biggest thing. And you could, there's an alter, alternative build you could possibly run too, if you, um, me maybe. I, I wouldn't say for sure, but you could probably do some sort of, like, if you wanted to do, like, full, I think there's a full savagery build you could pro probably run. It's just a matter of, like, with that full savagery build, you're probably gonna run out of stamina. Pretty easily, I, I would say too. So that's, like, the only difference. So... As of right now, this is my favorite build. I definitely think you can switch Blood Runner out for Serrated. Um, though, if you do, just don't get me wrong, you will be running out of stamina a bit more because you're going to lose that stamina reduction. 
Um, though that means you can also, you're not really holding on to the blood that you get and you're depositing it, so you level up Grandpa. But I don't know if you guys, I don't know how much you guys have been playing or whatnot, but at least for me, a lot of the games you play, it's insta insta door unlock people running around not really not really time to sit there and level grandpa up you're running around chasing the chasing the victims half the time so I, as of right now leveling a grandpa up unless you're going like a full blood harvest uh like f fuel grandpa to level five type shit i don't see the point so honestly blood runner is an is, is, a, is a great option because of that you just hold on to your blood points or you can just and, and like right off in the beginning before the doors open or something like that you can just collect three and you get this perk you can just collect from three blood bags and you get this perk activated and you're good to go and then all your perks are up and chilling and then i do have brute strength so if by chance the, the grandpa does get leveled up you do get some more increased uh increased melee damage to help get those kills um, but for the most part, it's very, very hard for them to get away from you. You're on top of them all the time. If you time your strikes, you can combo three, four, five, six hits in, and you're j they're just dead. They can't run away from you. They'll run out of stamina first most of the time, and you're just on them. And it, and then they're dead by then most of the time, too. So, you, you pretty much get those combo swings in, They'll and then you get them killed. I've had some people rage quit, uh, I don't know how 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 you guys' games have been going, but I've had some times where, like, you get those four or five hits in, they're instantly dead, and I've had people literally just quickly disconnect the game, and sometimes, um, if they do it, if they do it quick enough, you lose out on that kill, and it just shows disconnected, so that's, um, that's been fun to deal with, too, um, so that's my, that's, this is my, uh, this is my favorite build form right now, um, for the perk setup, uh, the, the path I take on the skill tree, we go off to the left here, we grab all of this here, because you want all these attribute points, we go up you grab everything here, free attribute points, you go to the right here, you grab this, you grab all these, you don't actually need to grab this, you can just go up this way, and move along, well, actually, I, I believe this is a random perk, so you actually do need to grab this, um, just in case you can get serrated, if you do want serrated, and then you go off here, this, this is a random perk slot as well, I believe, and I got serrated this time, go along here, we go down to the right path here, we grab this is where we get easily tuckered out. This is a random perk. This is the only thing is if you want scout, you're going to have to do the random perk stuff until you get it. Um, so that is going to be the downside. But once you do, and, and if you want serrated, you're going to have to. So two random perks are going to have to roll to the two perks you want. That is the one downside to this build. So you may be re-rolling a few times to get that combination. Unless you just run Blood Runner and then you're just looking for, you're just looking for scout. Um, but if you do want the option to try both, um, you will have to re-roll to get both of them on those random perk slots. Other than that, though, that is, that would be the only thing you have to worry about, and then you just go straight up to the tier, the tier list here, you grab the brute, you go off to the right so you can get brute strength. You could go stamina drain while sprinting. Um, honestly, either one is, uh, either one is good. It, do you, um, it's, it's pretty much a preference. Do you want extra melee damage, or do you want more stamina drain, uh, while, while sprinting? decrease um i'm running um stamina reduction perk already in blood runner but you could go even further with that if you because there is there can be a moments where there's um slight stamina drain uh slight stamina issues um for sure so i mean you could definitely take this but then again obviously you're hoping that perk gets activated so it's not a guarantee obviously uh, but especially say like if you want to switch blood runner out with serrated you could definitely go to the left here and then hope you and then have don't have all day and then you're actually depositing blood so you have a higher chance of getting this perk activated so there's that too and you just get a flat 20 percent stamina reduction for while while running so you're good there so definitely some options up at the top here you can go to the right or left depending on what you want the damage or the stamina uh the stamina drain decrease that's up to you definitely a preference thing i think both are pretty good um so that is the tree there that is the build uh there's definitely um probably could be some other builds i'll definitely come back and try some more things out on him uh but i wanted to get this video out because i um want i'm try trying to do like a video like every other day so i took two days try played a bunch and this is what i came up with i definitely think it c there could be something um there could definitely could be other builds I, as of right now i'm thinking there's could be a solid two to three builds across the board or even more um on each killer and maybe even e each victim depending on how you it's all i feel like it's all preference how you like to play because everyone plays differently some of you play some people play aggressive some people like playing slower some people on uh, it's 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 just a preference so it's like do you like this more or do you like this here? you like heavy hits and not you don't care if your stamina runs out or do you like to have your have a lot of stamina and be able to swing a bunch and get 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 that guaranteed kill kind of thing 
so that's up to your that's up to your choice but that is the end of the video for this build guide for Johnny. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for all the views, likes, comments, and everything on my other guide videos. I've been uploading these to YouTube and TikTok, and they've been doing great, especially on TikTok. So I really appreciate it. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep coming out with more of these. We're going. I got two more killers to go through, um, Hitchhiker Sissy. And then I'll probably go through all the victims after that. And then we'll probably circle. Or I'm not too sure yet. We'll see. Because honestly, I really like the family members. And then I don't know when the new the new one will come out. I don't know if you guys heard of the, the Nancy uh, family killer that's going to be coming out. She looks pretty cool. I'm going to have a lot of fun trying her out. Uh, other than that, guys, leave a comment, follow, like, subscribe, anything like that. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right? See ya.